So this is going to be a little bit of a different video for me. It's going, I'm showing you basically how I plan out projects and I'm going to be showing you that through a little capsule wardrobe that I'll be doing after my Bataille du Sing prep as well as my Trosscar outfit. This will be a medieval-esque capsule wardrobe meant for history bounding based between the dates of 1350 to 1402, which are the periods of the or the late medieval era that I study. So I'll get into the planning after I copy and paste the same sketch because why would I sketch the same body like four times? <laughs> you can't have a medieval-esque wardrobe without having kirtles. All of these are going to be roughly knee length on me with the same boat neck line that you see in a whole lot of this artwork. And because I live in Texas, I'm going to be shortening the sleeves from wrist length to three quarters and one quarter sleeves. The artwork doesn't really show them very much, but in order to get the tight fit that I want, as well as mimicking the shape of the supportive kirtle that's in the later 14th century, I have to add closures. And I really don't like doing zippers, so I'll stick to what I do for living history and reenactment and have lacing on the three-quarter sleeve. And on the short sleeve one that I'm drawing right now, I'm doing buttons because I have a set of gold rose buttons from my grandmother that I would really like to put on something that I've made. If you're wondering why I'm coloring these blue and yellow, it's just to go with my personal arms. I wanted to have a very simple color scheme of just two or three colors, and luckily I have a coat of arms due to the SCA that I really deeply enjoy and I just kind of use it as my own personal seal, so that way I'm using the same colors. And now I also need cold weather clothing because when Texas gets cold, it's cold for either like a day or because I'm from Arizona and I'm not used to this, two fucking months. Sorry for the potty humor, but I'm not monetized anyways, so YouTube can just kind of suck it. I'm basing this one off of the oop that you see, the pink one in the lower corner whenever I switch over to my reference photos. And I'm sticking to the wide sleeves that kind of make me feel like a 60s person. And I'll be lining these in fur, either recycled fur from an antique store if I can find any, or I will go to one of the local furriers and get some of their fur. And it will be wasted with a red belt. And because I'll never wear it with the blue short sleeved one, I'm just going to use the same blue on this.
very very hot during the summer. I need to have something that's not wool. And so I'm basing this next dress off of the Langberg finds dated to 1450. So it's out of my date, but we have references to very similar garments in this time period. This one is a combination of the very popular one that you always see in any of the articles that you will see when they ever talk about these Langberg finds because that's the one that looks most like a bra, so it's more eye-catching. But the bodice itself is based off of the third type of find, which was tied into a halter, I'm supposing after the straps broke. And this will be just done out of a natural colored linen, which is why I'm sticking to a pinkish color. And here are the finds, where you can see the... the well, I'm pulling up the finds right now, so where you can see the insertion panels, basically, of spraying and knee lace, as well as the long line bra aspect of the other fragments. Also setting up something for when I absolutely have to wear pants, and so I'm doing basically a jacket to wear over the top of more of my modern shirts based off of the later 14th century pore points. This one specifically is a combination of the bodice of the Charles de Bois pore point, as well as the sleeves that you see in one of my reference arts. I'm going for that baggier sleeve that that I could just sort of button up or scrunch up if necessary because I don't really like getting my sleeves wet. And I tried to draw the whole, you know, the strap where you can kind of scrunch up the back of your sleeve, but I just couldn't do it, so I went to coloring. something to put on my legs for when I have to wear pants because I don't always want to wear jeans. So I'm just deciding a quick uh, set of joined hose that are part of color. That means they're half one color, half another. This is just sticking to my yellow and blue color scheme and as a little bit of anachronistic flair I'm adding in little stripes of embroidery drawn in the same style that you see in a whole lot of manuscripts. That was just kind of artistic shorthand for, there's embroidery here, and I'll do something. I'm not sure what, but I will do something for that. I don't think you could ever do a medieval history bounding outfit without stockings. I've already got two pairs of these, which I'm just going to stick in, in their normal colors, and then I'm going to do another pair in the yellow for just filling out options for me to do.
so much for watching. Uh, I hope this helps you get some ideas on what you could do for more earlier periods of history bounding, and I look forward to doing these projects. I just have a couple videos that I need to squish in between before I could get started on this. It's okay, I will get started on this in the later half of the year, and hopefully I'll have a new wardrobe for 2021.